Hey guys, this is Az here, and we are bringing you something brand new, actually, from a bunch of guys in the Irish meta. This is episode one of Exchange of Information. With myself, this is Azrael, and also with me today is Damien Allen. Hey, Damien. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Um, well, what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be playing a bit of Andy with myself and Damien both piloting the deck together. And we're actually going to be going up against Argus, who's being piloted by Mark of Ice Ice Hedge Fund and another guy from the Irish community, Sean. These guys essentially will be playing double-headed, both of them piloting the Argus against myself and Damien, both piloting the Andy. Uh, essentially, the whole aim of the series is to try and talk through some of the decisions we're making, give you guys a bit of insight into what we like to deal with, and we're going to run through lots of different decks over the episodes. On my channel here on This Is Azrael Vids, you'll be able to check out one side of the match, so Andy in this case, and on the other side then, on Ice Size Hedge Fund on Mark's channel, you'll be able to check out the Argus side. All the links will be down below so you can check these out guys, so please do check out both sides and let us know anything you'd like to see deck-wise going forward. But yeah, let's get this going. You ready, Demon? I'm good to go. Okay, let's tell these guys we're good to go. So, starting hand is not great in my eyes. I don't like it. Yeah, it's, uh, well, we've got two breakers. This Desperado's nice. I mean, yeah. sure, Gambo into Desperado's not fine, but we're just missing that Earthrise. So we should actually say what we're playing, forgive me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so we are playing um, new Timujin Contract. So out of Andy, we are running Rebirth. We're running an Employee Strike and a Rumor Mill alongside Gordian Blade and Paperclip as most of our influence spend. Uh, so the goal of this deck is really just to get running early, use the turning wheel to build up a few counters and just hit the court pretty hard. And this matchups, oh. yeah. Yeah, sorry, hopefully with an employee strike so we don't get absolutely hosed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If we could have an employee strike in opening hand, that'd be pretty sweet. But then oh, again, that'd be awesome. he's probably gonna get a hostile takeover or a posted bounty past us. Yeah, we probably want to time easily. that employee strike. Yeah, we want we want to time it. Um so we are running two networking, which is awesome. So that'll help mm -hmm. us if we do decide to go tag me. Uh, or not tag me, but we do take some tags. Um yeah, I think we're definitely mulligan this. Um, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just too much expensive stuff. Yeah, it's just not great. So we're scared of snares. We're scared of kill, obviously. Um, I don't play Argus myself at all. So in your eyes. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, hmm, I'm a little scared of it, to be honest. Uh, we got an employee strike. That's, uh, that's so we good. Did. I mean, it, it's, it's a bit early days and we might lose it to, uh, to some kind of damage, but uh, we can always say we'll take it out. We also got a career fair to Mujin, which means yeah. we can actually John and then career fair that out and run the server yeah. for quick hit money. Yeah, let's see what they do in their first turn and we can, uh, we can see what, where to go from there. So, th yeah, this is, this is a doubly difficult one for me. No account siphon. We are running three. Um, yeah. None, because that would just be the dream if we could get a early current siphon against Argus. It would. It would. Is uh, Argus needs money, and if we can stop that, it's half the battle. Yeah, we're not running any film critic, so no real specific counter tech. Interestingly, he kept his hand and then ice and then drew. Yes, uh, I, I, I'm thinking he's maybe John. Maybe not, yeah, maybe not 100 percent happy with what he got uh, on the first draw, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so, so I think probably stick the John down, career fair out the Temujin and go R and D is my line here. That sounds like a plan. And that leaves us one click then left to clear a tag if we need to. Yes. Okay, so there's John. Career fair the Temujin onto R and D. Yep. Uh, oh, see, this is where like I'd love to put down the turning wheel, but I think doing that would be a bit over. Yeah, I, I think uh, with Argus, patience is is key. Just you know, just take take one agenda a turn. If you can do that, you're on really good terms. Yeah, you know? And are, are we favoring running here before employee strike I mean, and keeping that for a later turn once things have kind of? I think so. I, yeah. I think it's too easy to get rid of at the moment. Yeah, uh, okay, I agree. Once we've seen a hostile takeover um, yeah. or two past. Ah! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, uh, right. What do we do here? I mean, two meat damage isn't the worst, but I think all the of worst. these cards are reasonably valuable. We're going to have to get rid of two of them anyway if we take the tag. Oh, that's a very good point. I mean, yeah. what, what would we would we be dropping? We're we dropping a mongoose. I think so. And uh, we uh, have two turning wheels, so maybe a turning yeah. wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do. We would go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should yeah. we just do the two meat damage and take let let the chips fall where they may? If we lose two mongoose, it would hurt. Um, we do have one fam. We do. Have, um, okay. Okay. Yeah, you okay, know I mean, this. Deck. Yeah. Let, go. For yeah. It. Let's. Uh, among oh. us and an earthrise okay the earthrise isn't the isn't the best but john yeah, is going okay. to see us through yeah and um, just money up here i guess yeah why not they're probably very happy with themselves that they got rid of among us yeah 
which maybe is uh, a little we'll see what they're going to put down next so the deck list guys will of course be in the description down below so you can check this out and um, this deck breaker sweet wise is running a femme gingerbread gordian blade two mongoose or mongoose uh, one paperclip and one passport and then a super secret sneak door beta just for um that potential rebirth into gabe fun uh the nice thing about that run there is we've turned off archer for one more turn Oh man, never even never even considered that. That's great insight. And that's I guess that's why I'm loving the idea of doing this series because that's not something I would even be thinking about at this stage. Yeah, that's uh because I'm I actually yeah, I ran an Argus deck at the last regionals in Banger and just when you get that hostile score it just mm -hmm. feels it feels good. It feels good. You know, you've got a lot more threat. So he, yeah. My my line of here would probably be to draw and then maybe run R and D or maybe mongoose run R and D something. Like I will that. put the mongoose down first. We just we don't want to lose it. Um, but I, I draw first and then okay. before running, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so mongoose and then go R and D yeah. here. Yeah, let's see what they got. Um, slightly concerned. I don't want to follow behind on money here, but hopefully we force a res or we can get through this and get some of our own yeah. money again. Exactly. And we oh, get a I draw. Just, I just so. realized something actually, and I didn't. I don't know if you picked up on this, but if we do make an unsuccessful run here, we're going to get a tag from John. I didn't actually consider that. Yeah, I'm not used uh, to playing criminal that much, and I do forget about the drawbacks. I actually completely <laughs> forgot about that. So, uh, yeah, let's let's keep our John awareness. High. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if we got. Oh, that's lovely for us. Okay, that's a good call. That's a good call. So, uh, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we so, break this. Um, yeah, we break well, this. Yeah. It's three, though. It's one uh, damage, and we're going to draw. And do we really care about anything that's in that hand? If we lose the... I mean, if we... Strike. But we got the same old thing to get it back if, if we're really stuck. Yeah, I, I think we asked him to fire, yeah? Yeah, fire fire the... Um... Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good with that. And that, I think we were kind of lucky there. I'm really, really glad we didn't have a run ended because that would have been kind of nasty. Um, it would have been. We'll be, we'll be more careful in the future. Yeah, we've still got two special orders and a bunch of things to see. Yeah. Same old thing, I'm okay with that. We've got one more yeah, same old thing. Yeah, I'm fine Let me see. Oh, that's not installed. Okay, Ukar, that's not installed. Um, I love Price Egg, actually. What a I great card it is. Well. I think we've got to trash it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can still play around it the same way you play around Snare and you just sni siphon them into the ground and yeah. make, make an eye of it. But I think at this point, yeah, we just get rid of it. Um, and then either draw or stick down Turning Wheel. I think draw and just I, I, get more breakers. Yeah, I wouldn't either because I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if we get a hard-hitting news somewhere in this deck. Okay. And it's always nice to stay on the eight credits until we draw the networking. But So I draw a card maybe instead yeah, of signal yeah. turning. Like it. Like oh, it. yes. This we like good. that. This is good. We like that tons. So this is this is an interesting question about Timujin here because Archives seems like the obvious place to go. But what we're getting here is we're putting R&D pressure on and still getting money back for it, which I'm really okay with. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, delighted with that. It's yeah. great. It's what's there for, you know. Because I think the way, where it differs from security testing is you want to be doing it while you're aggressing, where security testing is just like end of, you know, you're not, you're not accessing, you're just doing instead of. Uh, mm -hmm. What is he casting? Okay, he, yes, this is interesting. Now, what are we doing? Oh, we want to draw into one of our two networkings and fast. That's nice. I like this play from him. Yeah. Now, if we really wanted, we could inside job this and clear three tags. Because uh, we get two from that and one from his ability, but that's. Mm. I think he's holding something. I, I. I'd love to know what was in his hand. So we only got two cards in hand. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think this. I think if we let this go, he's going to get to score next turn and be up three credits, which will put him on fourteen, and that's going to get bad. If we inside job this, it's going to leave us on six, and then we're going to, we're going to be on zero basically. Um. Or well, the other line is we install Desperado and just go R and D. Um, and we let him. We let him have this and just. I, yeah, I think we let him have it. That would be my line of play now. I think. This is interesting because I think my yeah. line would be to inside job this. See, I, 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 I'm terrified of going down to zero. I don't like it. I don't um, like it one bit. Yeah, because if we, if we go to zero, we what we've yeah. got hard hitting news basically, or yes, a, a mid seasons. But, yeah. Well, probably yeah. not mid seasons if he's playing two influence for casting call. Probably not. Probably not. But maybe he's. I mean, like you said, he's only got two cards in hand. If you think he's bluffing the hard ending news, I I go for it. But uh, oh, you you're, you're 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 in the driver's seat here. Oh no no no! There's no fuck passing here. There's no fuck passing. We're in this together, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what do you do? You think Desperado just had R and D and just let them net damage as a card? Um. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I think I'll. I, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? I, I think. I'll, do you know what? Like, do you want an inside job? I mean, that's the exciting line. Oh of play. God! The, yeah, it's the exciting line, but. Um... Oh God. Okay, so if we inside job it, what yeah. is the worst? You know, three cards he could have. Harding News gives us four tags, and we run zero. Yeah. We lose. We then lose our John, and we lose our economy the turn after because yeah. we can't clear the tags, and we're spending the next three turns basically clicking for credits and removing tags. Is that yeah. worse than, or, or more likely than if we just inside job this and tech this, go to zero credits, but be on three to one, and he's on 11 credits? You see, I, I have worst case scenario in my head, and the chance of him having worst case scenario on two cards is slim. I think you just go for the inside job. I think I just talked myself out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. I'll run there already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. we're, we're, ch yeah. we're chickening out hardcore style, yeah. and we need to draw into an account siphon soon, is basically Serious what we're power. saying. Uh, yeah. Are we letting him fire this or spending three? Um, I say fire. Yeah, fire. Um, this is unfortunate. This is where Mongus is falling down compared to Mimic. Yeah, we lose a turning uh, wheel. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's, that's no we, problem. I guess we could have installed a turning wheel, actually. It might not have been a bad line either. Uh, Beanstalk. Ooh, I like the special Sorry. order actually. Yeah. Um, but I guess for me, I'd maybe just go draw because we know he's going to triple advance that next turn. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely. I think draw and then potentially special order or draw and then turning wheel. Yeah. Uh, so draw. Oh, that's a really expensive answer to swordsman. Too much. Um. So do we maybe just grab our paperclip? Uh, I don't like grabbing it yet because we can't chuck it in the bin. Yeah, I got you. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, Maybe just stick down the turning wheel if yeah, you want. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any way to get any of our breakers back once they go in except for paperclip. Yeah. Um, so we have lost one mongus, so losing the fan could be pretty bad. It's not. It's really an emergency toll booth savior. Mm -hmm. It's not really meant for this play but it could be used to guarantee siphons but i really because we're against argus and we expect kill i kind of want to hold off siphoning until we get networking yeah yeah and i'm super surprised he's not just triple oh there we go okay they, they maybe they maybe had a quick chat just to see how they were going to kill us but there <laughs> i want to see if the score is now that's the interesting thing oh man if they don't if... score it we have to go for it right we have to go for it after we uh, run R&D and get some money. But then if we take it, though, we're going to be tagged to hell. No, they decide to score it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Yeah. Um, what do you think of now? Um, I just think... I don't... There's no easy way to deal with this swordsman in our deck, unfortunately, is what's really frustrating me. No. Um... But, I mean, we're running, so if we run R&D, we're getting the C8 card, we're going to gain five credits, and we're spending three. three so I, I think we just spend the credits this time. Yeah, and we're getting a turning wheel counter as well, provided. If, we yeah, see it. yeah, let's just. <laughs> we now have stuff we need to save, and they probably realize that. <laughs> we're breaking yeah. it for the first time. There's an oh, Atlas. Okay, oh, tick tock. Uh, yes, absolutely agree. Yeah. Um, sure. Hmm. That might have been a good opportunity to employ a strike in hindsight. But yeah, maybe. yeah. Um, but again, we've only seen one hostile. I'd like for them to score a hostile before we drop that down. Sure. So remove tag credit credit yeah. here. Uh, yeah, Stamp. like I said, patience, patience is a great way to go against Argus. You know, you don't want to you don't want to overextend yourself. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think they'll have to put something in front of R and D now because I mean I know it's costing us three credits, but it's. Well, let's quickly just chat influence with them because they've spent two in cast yep. and call. You've got to imagine they're probably running at least two. I would think so. One on swordsman. There's yep. Jackson. So that's say four, five. You're, you're three, so eight. So snares are what two influence? They're probably running one or two. Yeah, I wouldn't think too many. So I think I think they're probably putting in Prysec as a as a free influence. Ah, uh, ah, I like that. So dropping the snares, maybe using Prysec. Maybe I'll, maybe I I wouldn't drop every one of them, but I yeah. think it's definitely they're definitely saving influence there. Okay, no, I like that. That's a great call. So they could, I mean, the thing is with Consulting Visit being a thing now, they could just be running one-off mid-seasons yeah. or one-off cards far more easily, which is a bit of a pain. Um, 
Okay, so our draw is what's kind of letting us down here a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Um, John's been want... keeping us in it, but... You want to draw first anyway and see what we get. Yes, I agree. Um, that's uh, not bad. We not could, terrible. We could force them to ice archives. Um, we need to clear the R&D one first. Yes, because... absolutely, absolutely. So do we special order for... Uh, no, I, I don't know, this might just be a draw turn for me, actually. Yeah, maybe. Well, I would draw, see what we get, and then maybe special order for a paperclip. Just oh, that, that that's nice. Yeah. So if we play this, we've got a six cards. We special order for paperclip. We're still on six, and then we can discard it. Yeah. Bingo. Okay. And we just need to be careful that we don't go. We don't go two per. And they no. don't biotic out a uh, Chronos project. <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> Uh, to be fair, if if they did that out of Vargas, I would just uh, uh, I I I roll up your cards. Up. Yeah, yeah, slowly, slowly good. edge away. <laughs> <laughs> I am just waiting to have that turn where somebody chucks a paperclip and then I just biotic go uh, across. Oh, is so this beautiful. the hostile? Hostile even? Yeah, I yeah, think so. There we go. Maybe. Did they? Are they teasing now? I think mm, maybe. Very slow and methodical play out of uh, Mark and Sean here. I like yeah. this. Oh, man. If they leave that sitting there... Oh, thank God. Uh, okay, the bad pub's good for us. I like yeah. the bad You know, it's going to get us into R&D a little cheaper. And we can install Paperclip for one credit cheaper as well, which is lovely. Yes, good shout, actually. Yeah. So what do we get our cards? There's our Gordian. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we could... I mean, we could just hedge all our bets a little bit here. Run archives, get a card and a credit install Gordian, yep. but this is this is this troubling point now. I'm halfway through my deck. I've seen no account siphon. Yep. Uh, I'm worryingly low on credits and fearing retribution through running. Um, I also don't want to make an unsuccessful run and get hit, you know into R and D. So yeah, this is where I'm yep. just kind of overly cautious with criminal and where I kind of struggle. Okay, well let's. Right, I think you're right. I think we should run archives, get the card and credit. I think it's a good. So it's a good place eight, which yeah. Open, yeah. So. We could always install the paperclip now with the bad pub credit. Well, because it's going to happen at some point. You have to encounter a. Oh, you do. Of course you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. There's our account siphon. So we have uh, what we set up for it, and then just hope they don't second ice HQ this turn. Well, if they do, we should be fine. Um, we could always inside job R and D and make them res that first piece of ice. I like that play a lot, actually. Uh, yeah. That's, so that... if we employ strike inside job, is that? That's a play. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a play. Yeah, I like this because we'll clear the Temujin there, and that yeah. means next turn we have the potential to maybe Temujin go archives once or twice, and then yeah, or even if, if if we're feeling really confident, we can always Temujin uh, HQ if we're going to be going account siphon. Oh, oh, I love which your, just, I love your is... filthy mind. Okay. It's... Um. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, let's check out R and D. A networking. Oh yeah, we don't need to worry about networking because we have uh, employee strike. Yes. So we're paying two to gain five. Uh, which okay, I am, then, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, and a turning wheel counter possibly. Or even well, better. I'd rather have an agenda. Yeah. Agenda. <laughs> right. yeah. Agenda would be even solid. Worst case scenario, as come on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> worst case scenario, as come on. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, they have a ton of money now. Uh, okay, I mean, so... I want to install the Gordian in preparation for next turn. However, uh, is having four credits any better than having eight here? Really, if something no. horrible happens. No. Yeah. So install the Gordian. Prepare for the next turn of current siphon. Yeah, I don't think. Do you think they're running hard eating use? Yes or no? No, a... I don't. I don't like, either. Hard, hard if, they're, if, they're, if, they're run, if they're running sea source, we might be dead anyway, so it doesn't make a bit of difference. Um, agreed. And we actually have no kill protection in this deck. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So There's no, there's no class creep. There's only networking. Um, yeah. so, yeah, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Yeah. And and not successfully landing a siphon in our first uh, 22 cards. Yes. Come on. Survive a turn. That's all we need. So how much is Mongus to break Archer? His strength's six, right? So it's got to pay six, seven, so it's eight to get through. Thinking worst case scenario for a Count Siphon. Yeah. Okay. 
So they they mandatorily drew into Scorched and then instantly Jackson to seven. So are they searching for a yeah, way to they attack us? They don't have it. If they Jackson again, it's going to be pretty evident. Ooh, yeah. Okay. They're setting up a scoring server. Which is great for us. Yeah. Just no, no Chrysium in HQ. One time. One time yeah. no Chrysium in HQ. Okay. And then we have the potential decision here is do we Temujin and go archives like three times and just money up hard? Or do we just take the risk with four credits and just go straight in HQ? Because no, because if, oh, yeah, that yeah, if that that made our decision for us. Yeah, yeah, that that made that easy. Yeah, yeah. So I would be going to Mujin archives. Yeah, money, money. Three times probably. Sounds and, good to me. And then drop the political operative because I don't think it's going to be relevant in this matchup. No, I don't think so either. Um. Yeah, let's just give me that five credits per click. Boom! I'll we'll have a card first time. Oh, Boom. and this uh, nice, nice. And we'll play, we'll play the sure gamble for the last one, yeah? Yeah. Just yeah. So we're not binning it. Um, boom. Leave that server open. Okay. Now we're in a much more comfortable position. We're still a little bit behind, but yes. I a little bet. bit behind, but we have money on the board. Um, we're not that far behind. We forced them to ice up a lot of stuff. And they've done a lot of drawing and haven't binned any cards. They have no face downs in archives right now. I know. I know. And yeah. um, that's where a rumor mill could be. Turn out to be absolutely beautiful for us. Oh goodness! Yeah. If they keep if they keep going this way. Well, I think they're drawing. I mean, as soon as they see a hostile, they're gonna play it instantly, aren't they? Because yeah. employee strikes a thing. Mm -hmm. So three to three. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, I wonder how many hostiles are running. I know. I think in my regionals I ran two. I don't think I ran three, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. We they're wasting a piece of ice in archives. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and and think, the thing is, we're not, we we're not afraid of it either. Yeah, yeah we just... should go and force the res on that, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Um, depending on what we draw here. Um, I'd love to see a networking because it means we can in a current siphon for so much less. Yes, that would be so nice. Yeah, because an archive run and a current siphon and declaring two tags would just be... Okay, so no no, no dream, but hey-ho. Okay, what are we going to do? Right, so what do you think, run archives or uh, just a current siphon straight away? Um, do we think we're going to come out with more or less credits? So there's five credits. Are we going to spend five credits getting through this piece of ice? Probably not, but if we are, they've spent a lot of money on it. Uh, I guess the other question is, should we run HQ before we run there in case there's any chance they might spend more than 14 credits across the three pieces of ice, if that makes sense? Is there any way we yeah. can do less than... So maybe, maybe a count siphon first? Maybe a count siphon first, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do it and see what happens. We we have enough money to get through anything, I think. Uh, oh, you had to say it. double archer. I did. Incoming. Yeah, yeah, double archer would. That would be perfect. one credit. Yes. Well, double sentry double actually would be double really sentry bad. Would yeah. Suck. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is where we reverted the can though, and we could just install the fence. Oh, there's the okay, first one. Okay, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. no, we're we're breaking all of this. Breaking it, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, uh, and then are we, are we pausing to reconsider our life choices? <laughs> yeah, I think we're jacking out. Because uh, if I was if I was them, if this was double archer, I would one hundred percent sack yeah. the two pointer to wipe our rig. Yeah. Oh man, are we really jacking out here? We are. Oh man. I know. I know it hurts. So what we? Oh man. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Okay. Yeah. We got a tag now as well. Uh, so, so run archives, clear tag, archives. install Earthrise. Yeah. Sounds sounds good to me. Um, I hope this isn't an archer. <laughs> no, we're fine. We got, well, no, yeah, we're just fine because we got the one bad publicity. Yeah, I I think we'll see a vanilla here or something like that. Uh, I guess. I'd be very happy with that. Yeah, me too. Maybe they're not even. They're, they're thinking about it. Oh my god, they're really thinking about it. If it was a vanilla, it just would be a res. Um, oh man, why are they thinking about this so much? Or are they possibly thinking about what to Jackson? Okay. Okay, we can. Yeah, we can pay yeah, for we, that. Yeah, we pay for that. Yeah, that's fine. That's not scary. Whew, it was for a second, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Pop a Jackson, good for that. That's okay. And hey, they, they removed a they removed an agenda. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's fine. 
their next archer is going to be a lot less of an instant res, which is okay. So cast and call, hedge fund, and a face down. Okay. Oh, career fair, earthrise, you beautiful beast. Oh, good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And remove tag. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so they, uh, uh, this is where this criminal, man, they just they, they run a, a thin line. <laughs> they yeah. just they tread it. Okay, at least we got them to spend a bit of money. That's not too bad. I would prefer if we were ahead of them at this point on money. We'll... Yeah. And the thought of having to hard install this fem is pretty brutal, but I feel like we have to if we are going to get into HQ, and I feel like we need to get into HQ. I do too. Yeah. So is the fem going on the archer that's rest or the one behind it? Probably the archer that's rest. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean the archer behind it. I just meant the ice behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Worst case scenario. Um, okay, here we but, go. Uh, wow. Yes. Big server. I mean, we can get through that, kind of. Unless it's three. Oh, yeah, we can. It's it's three centuries. Three centuries. Yeah. That... Okay. Well, didn't well didn't Carson call it? No. So I mean, we could. We could go archives for a net of three. Yep, and a card. And a card. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna have too many cards is our issue. Oh networking. Okay. Um, okay. Oh we don't have the eight counts anymore. Yeah, we do. Okay. So yeah, so we could go archives to be on eleven. Yeah. Then we could uh, see hard installing the fem is what we need. But we have inside job. I mean we could inside job server one and just hope that their two inside ice are not both sentries. But um, I can't see I don't think they'll have the money for all of that. You know, they'll like, have to res three pieces of ice for a double sentry pain in the neck, which I don't think they'll do. We also have two dirty long news to draw into, which we haven't seen yet. I'm just I'm, I'm worried about drawing another card here. We're gonna end up binning a lot of stuff, but the passport can go. Passport uh, can go, the John can go. Yes, the John can go, of course again. Okay, yeah. So let's hit archives up first. Let's see our cards, see what we see. Inside job is still a card. It it really is. Oh, it's great. It just makes like every decision for a corpse site is just it's a bad decision. It's just you know. Uh, oh, <laughs> second networking. So That's yeah, fine. I mean, if they have like ice wall, archer, any other sentry, would be sad. Um, that will be the worst. Yeah. Yeah. So do we like take two credits and then run just to be safe? Um. Or do we maybe just run and then we can do a last click archives and not have to spend the Enigma credit if we wanted to? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's cool. So, uh, yeah. Credit, yeah, credit, yeah. credit inside credit. job. Sounds good. Okay. And we still got the paper clip in the bin. Yes, we do. Come on, inside job. See us through. Uh, if that's an archer, I would be very, very happy. Actually, I won't. I don't want to see any more of them. No, I don't. I think I think this is good play. I think I think this is fine. Okay, would have liked to have dodged over something bigger than yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. Okay, so we continue. One time no sentry. Yeah, I just want a vanilla here or something, something there like that. Ice wall. Okay, Ice wall. Fine. Yeah. Oh no res. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this, this is so good. We okay. Be safe yeah, we should be okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. And then uh, three. Oh, paperclip is good, man. Paperclip is good. Wow, well, that's that one's the same as Corridor. Uh, three, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, sorry, two. You're right. Sorry, we we paid. No, it's three. Minutes. No, it's three. It's three silver teams. We had to pay. Three. Oh, it is three silver yeah. teams. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're getting this, and we're going to come out richer than them. Uh, yes. Which is a big old bonus. And we don't get the Argus ability. Go on, employee uh, strike. Yes, and the employee strike lives another day. And then we just go and pick up some more archives credits. Sounds good. This time we just have to pay one bad pub, so we're getting the full oh, five. Three. Oh, this is good. That's efficiency right there. Uh, so John goes on the second network and goes. Yeah. And yeah, wow. So that that was great. That was risky by then. Um, it was. It was. They haven't seen a lot of economy. Like they shuffled no. back. Um. What the closing call? I think one economy card and a face down. So ah, oh, here we go. There's a hedge fund for them. Okay. Yeah, they seem to have been a little bit unlucky, but. Argus is a high risk deck. That's probably now, just a Jackson or a Price egg, isn't it? Yeah, I don't I don't think we need to worry about that. 
if it's anything, we wait for them to advance it, and then we can go get it if we really need to. Yeah. Oh, rumor! Oh, wait for them to jack. Wait for them to put that Jackson up. Then we just. <laughs> uh... um, so career fair out the Temujin onto archives again, or do we now start going onto R and D and start trying to turn the screw there? I think R and D is fine. Yeah. Um, I don't see any problem. I mean, like we don't mind the one net damage firing if we if it's a sentry in front of it. That's not a, a big deal. We're drawing a card off the first run anyway, so yeah. I think I think we do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super with you. And here we go. Now we just need to get get this locked out before this goes on too much longer. Yeah, I mean, I think we don't need to be worried. Like we're, we're going to be building up turning wheel counters if we need to use them, but I think we're pretty comfortable right now. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's a barrier. Yeah, that's right? three. Uh, okay. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, it's barrier currently. Oh, but yes. if they make that sentry, that'll be a pain in the balls. It will. It will. But yeah, to we can take it, the to one. put it politely. <laughs> we can we can take the one that damage off the uh, off the um, swordsman. Yeah. Swordsman, if, if it needs to be. But I think we pay for it now. Yes, I agree. Come on, agenda. Cobra. Cobra. Oh, that's not. Gingerbread doesn't isn't helping us against anything that's red currently. No. Um, yeah, giving hand a poke is not really appetizing at all. Not until we get that fem out. Um, and getting the fem out is still a little pricey right now. Yeah, and unfortunately, we're not going to be gaining money from our guys or from R and D runs now. Uh, no. How many uh, Temujin have we gone through? Is that our last one? I think it's our last one. It is indeed. Yeah. It's it's not a big deal then. Just leave it on the table. We've still got one caddy, uh, two dirty laundry, and a sure gamble to come. Okay. Caddy's kind of been a bit late this game. Yeah, we're doing okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, do we just take two credits here? I think so. I think, like I said to you at the start, patience is a great way to play against Argus. We we are in no rush. They are under pressure now. Oh, we're fine. sugar. That's not what yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of the. That's the passport. I want to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean that to me that's a Jackson or a Price Egg. Um, yeah. Are we worried about them running posted bounties? Probably not. No, a posted bounty has to be advanced to make it worthwhile anyway. So, okay, so, so if they advance something twice, we need to give it some yeah. thought. Yeah, it could have. The worst case scenario there it was an Atlas, and it's not an Atlas. I don't think. Well, we'll see. M is still four to get through the archer. Ugh. I know, I know, I know. We can always same old thing inside job if we really want to get in there. Do you know what? Actually, I like that line. If we get like four or six turning wheel counters, and yeah. just because if we can say we've seen all the hand and then start focusing on R and D. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, we could just uh, bounce off. Oh no, we don't want to bounce off with John, but. Okay, there we go. Ah, that's, that's a lovely play from them. Yeah, and I can see maybe a Cobra coming down in front of that. Oh, God. Well, yeah. we know it's four to res. Um, yeah. And we know once yeah. we have the Femme on the table, Femme can deal with it easily. Uh, I mean, do you know what? I feel like we need to get the Femme out ASAP because the Femme can deal with the Swordsman for one credit. Yeah. Um, and that allows us then... Mimic's, oh, Mimic's paying five to get through Changeling. Ouch. Uh, or mongoose. Oh, sorry. Well, that, yes, forgive me. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think, Fem the Archer? I think, like, I, um, so it's costing us nine and four. It's costing us thirteen. Mm -hmm. so, hmm. Yeah. I mean, for me, my line of play here, I think, would be just to take like four credits. Pass the turn back, and then next turn go for the fam account siphon. Yeah, I'd maybe go three credits, install the same old thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Just so we're not losing that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Because we'll have to get rid of two cards, and we can get rid of uh, the desperado. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um. So we just have to think about how many credits we need to get past the second piece of ice. Is my big concern. Yeah. No, hundred percent. But I, I, like, as you say, I think I'm kind of fine just to sit and click for credits here. I just really wish I had a caddy or something, something that just was... Yeah, it's not a bit more, more efficient. But... And that's the thing. I just put the one caddy in here, like, a few days ago. And before that, I wasn't running any. And I kept finding myself getting to this point where it's like, oh, I haven't won. They're starting to get really expensive in the runs. And I just kind of got locked down. Yeah. Um, 
that change in play is lovely actually really like that yeah it, it's a it's a pain <laughs> it's very nice i know we look all the way back to our what turn one where we lost that mongoose and go, i know right oh man oh it's fine <laughs> no but the femme is going to help us Ooh. okay so they're okay that's probably okay. the cobra i would think so yeah but oh, that's okay because because again femme is going to deal with that once she hits the table we mm -hmm. just have to get the timing right yeah yeah So, I mean, do we just take credits again? It's not an exciting... Or do we, or do okay. we draw once? Hope for the caddy? Maybe uh, draw, yeah. Because the gingerbread can probably go here. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, sneak door is nice. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're doing that now, aren't we? I think we sneak door... Um... Oh, man, yeah. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. If we'd want, I yeah. Think we, I think we do it twice. I think we go once and then we do it for three cards. Yeah, I yeah. think that's good. Yeah, let's are we, do it. Are, are we getting so just to check because this often happens when I play now when I draw a card and they go, "This is now the best thing." Um, <laughs> is this the best thing or is the best play to discard the gingerbread, take three more credits, and try and guarantee a siphon land before? Because if, yeah. if, we, if we sneak door now, if we don't win this turn, they're going to put an ice in front of archives. Um, and kind of lock that play down. But I'm still thinking the worst case scenario, like they need a win condition. Yeah, well, they, they have what they have one scorch in hand, which we've seen. They do. The, yeah. The cobra is more than likely gone out. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to land that tag. Yeah. Okay. So sneak door, run once, hopefully win. If we don't run, potentially run back. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's do it. That's what we're here for. Snet runner, baby. Yeah. So we're going to get credit on the card here too, which is nice. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, there, there it is. Oh. There it is. Game. So there you go, guys. That was episode one of Exchange of Information. I hope you enjoyed getting that little bit of insight, actually, from myself and Damien as we kind of thumbed and kind of stumbled our way through decisions there. You can actually check out the descriptions below and head over to Ice Ice Hedge Fund if you'd like to see Argus's side of the game. You see exactly the same game, but from their perspective to see the challenges and difficulties they had whenever they were coming up against this. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, thanks Damien for coming along. Thanks for having me. See you guys again.